the stylometric test. What's a stylometric test? That's just a big clunky uh, word. Uh, uh, stylometrics is, uh, it's basically a, a mathematical comparison. It's software that has been produced uh, in, in, recent, in, in recent times that they call it author discrimination. How do you discriminate this is really from this author or not from this author? Okay? So basically, it's almost like AI, <laughs> but a very primitive form of AI, uh, or plagiarism softwares or otherwise. Uh, imagine I, we, we, we dig up in, in the park down the street a book that says, manuscript written by William Shakespeare. We're not sure if it's actually one of his books or not, one of his plays or not. So what do you do? They input it into the software, right? after they've already input everything we know and verified has been from Shakespeare. So they already got his patterns of language, his styles and otherwise, immediately you can tell, is this actually his? Does it match up or does it, does it not? Is that clear? By the way, this author discrimination uh, technique is, is how they discounted and disproved that many of the books in the Bible that are attributed to even Paul were not even written by Paul himself. Paul, the creator of Christianity. But what they did is they performed 12 different experiments comparing what? The Qur'an with a book like Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih al-Bukhari, you know, is the most authentic, you know, uh, collection of statements and descriptions and actions and approvals of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa His everyday speech, basically, to simplify. And what they did when they compared the language of the Qur'an with the language of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa they s concluded that it is humanly impossible for these two to come from the same person. 